In this video, I'm going to show you the amount of electromagnetic radiation that you are exposed to on a daily basis in a normal household. I'm going to go over just eight different things in my house, and the last two will be two of the worst things in my house. And there will also be one more that I'm going to put down in the description that you can watch that I don't have. And that would be a baby monitor. Okay, before we start going around and recording all this stuff, I want to tell you real quickly why I got into this. Our boys used to sit here right near this TV, maybe three, four feet from it, and they used to get headaches every day. Now our Wi-Fi used to sit right behind this TV, right here to my, my left, your right. And I had my Roku also here. And we noticed they were getting headaches every day, so we started doing research and we found out the Wi-Fi could cause headaches. So that's what we, why we decided to move our Wi-Fi downstairs. And recently I started hardwiring my entire house, so I would say 99% of the time our Wi-Fi is not even on. And also, all this electromagnetic radiation can cause headaches, nosebleeds, and kids with autism, it can make their autism worse. And the worst of all can also cause cancer. So just look down in the description, that could start you on learning more about this. I have, I'm gonna put many things down in there you can either read or watch videos on. All right, first we are going to turn off and unplug everything in our entire house. And I will go individually show you how much radiation you get off of each one of these devices. And I'm using an acoustometer. I'll put this down in the description also if you would want to buy one of these yourself and check your own house. Right now I'm outside my house and I'm going to get a reading of my analog meter just to see what the levels are on this before PP&L comes to put a smart meter on my house. Now I'm only a couple feet away. It's really, really low. Which is good. Yeah. All right, now I'm in my kitchen. I'm gonna take a reading in every room of my house just to see what the levels are before I turn anything on. Now this could be why mine's reading 0.07 because my neighbor does have a smart meter on their house which is and we do not that close you can just point out the window yeah it's not that far so but it's not real bad here still in the safe level yeah 0 0.2 0 0.3 sometimes 0 0.07 so and what's the range where it starts getting dangerous up here above 0.70 i think 0.85 they say is definitely really dangerous but even lower than that's dangerous all right, now I'm in my living room. My upstairs living room, and it's about the same as the kitchen, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. It's good. Now I'm in my master bedroom. Uh, the readings are nice and low here, 0 0.02. It's good. Now I'm in my my older boy Spencer's room. Right across the hall from the master. Right, yeah, right across the hall from the master bedroom. It's about the same, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. Now I'm in my younger boy Patrick's room. Readings are still really low, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. And right now I'm down in my lower level. I'm in an extra bedroom, and right on the other side of this wall will be where my Wi-Fi is. And just over, on this side over here, this is where my other, my neighbor's house is, where the, they have their smart meter. And when I get my smart meter, it's just gonna be on the other side of this wall. So let me take the readings of here now without any smart meter. And this is with nothing on, no Wi-Fi on. Still real nice, 0 0.02. Now I'm in my lower level family room and I'll take the readings on this with nothing turned on in my house. 
Oh, this room is really nice. It's not reading anything. Wow. Yeah, that's nothing on. Okay, now I'm in my garage. I'm gonna take a reading in here with nothing turned on in my house. Again, nothing. That includes Whoa. garage door openers. Yep, my garage door openers are all turned off. Okay, now I'm gonna test my wife's iPhone 8 Plus. Right now it is in airplane mode. And I'll turn this on with airplane mode on. It's reading 0 0.02. Now, watch what happens when you turn airplane Oops. mode off. Okay, get it. Whoa. This is what happens with your cell phone when you turn airplane mode off. That's really high. Yeah. That's why you're never supposed to use the cell phone next to your head. Okay, there's your cell phone. Now I'm going to show you our Bluetooth speaker. Right now the Bluetooth speaker is off. And it's reading really nice low levels. Now I can turn it on. Whoa. This is what Bluetooth looks like in a Bluetooth speaker. That noise is not that's, good. Yeah, that's a different noise. Ooh, here it goes up and down. It's probably searching for Bluetooth. That's crazy. All right, now I'm gonna show you our Roku. This is with it off. This end of my house is a little higher. It might be because of that smart meter that's on the other side of our wall. Now let's hope it's on. So let me turn it on. It takes a little bit for this to ramp up. Right now, no Wi-Fi or internet is connected. Yeah, I still have nothing else on in my house. There, there it goes. That's what it looks like from your Roku. And that's just Bluetooth. Holy That's, yeah, I thought I was saving the best for last. I don't know, that might be one. Now this is right on top of it. I should maybe be doing readings. If you go away from things like this, it really goes, drops down. And I'm not saying to totally get rid of everything in your house. I just want you to be aware of this. I'm not, we're not gonna get rid of this stuff. We just turn it off when we're not using it. Okay, now I'm going to do a reading on a Sony PlayStation controller, wireless which is controller. wireless and Bluetooth. Now this is with it off. I'm still getting nothing. Let me turn this controller on. Whoa. How do you keep it on? This is my kids. <gasps> Oh, there we go. That one must have been dead. This is the Bluetooth controllers. The controller, they're constantly holding right next to them. Yeah. What's going on? How do you turn this thing off? All right, now that's it. I don't know how to turn it off. Wow. The power off. I, there. I, I want to do, do a little research on that. To see if we can. Now I'm going to show you just a subwoofer that's run off of Bluetooth, which about everybody has in their house nowadays. Okay, now there's the reading right now. It's off. It's unplugged. Now watch when I plug it in. It's not real, real bad, but I moved mine in the back of the room, so this ain't sitting right next to somebody. Okay, now I'm in my closet where my Wi-Fi is at, and I have my Wi-Fi router turned on. Now we're only a couple feet away from it, and it's pretty much about as high as I can go. Now we're reading all these in volts per meter, and I'm going to also put some information on this down in the description, because I'm not going to try to explain all this if you want to read more up on this. Now watch what happens when I turn this off, being this close to it. Right down. Yeah, it's still a little high in here because of, I think, 
I have my electric box, electric box in here. Okay, now I'm back in my living room upstairs and my Wi-Fi router is maybe 30 feet away from me down in my basement. And this is what it's reading. And it also still reads if I go back into my bedrooms. Let me walk back there real quick. Okay, now I'm in my youngest room with my Wi-Fi on. This is what it reads. If you remember last time when we had nothing on, it was down 0 0.02, 0 0.03. It's not real high, but they say you, for sleeping, you should have this at 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 in your rooms. So just wanted to let you guys know you should turn your Wi-Fi off at night or wire your, wire your whole house, hardwire it. Okay, now I'm back in my kitchen, and this I think is one of the worst ones, and thank God it's not on all the time. If you actually do a little research on this, in some countries you can't even have one of these. So here we go, watch this. We got still a little higher here, but my, like I said, my neighbor's smart meter is right there. Okay, now watch when I turn this on. Oops. Wow. Your microwave. Now this, keep recording. Keep recording. Watch me walk all the way on the other side of my house. You might have to follow me. Here. Come over here. This is how far I am away from my microwave. And it still reads that high. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, one last video. Now I have everything on in my house. So I'm just gonna show you what most people are living with because they have no clue of how much electromagnetic radiation everything on their house makes. Now I'm just in my living room. I'm gonna walk around my house real quick. Back my hallway here. All these different sounds this thing makes, everything makes a different sound. This is in my youngest boy's bedroom with everything turned on. This is why we turn almost everything off as much as we can. Wow, that's awful. And I'll go in my bedroom. Ooh, I guess we're lucky. Our, my bedroom's not too bad. That's with everything on. I don't have nothing in my bedroom that's making electromagnetic radiation, and it's the furthest from everything. And I'll show you what it looks like downstairs in my family room. This is what it looked like. Now, down here earlier, it looked there was barely any reading at all with everything on. Now, the PlayStation is not on right now, but my Roku is on. Mainly probably coming from that and my Wi-Fi together. Now it's right under that 0.85. And like I said, 0 0.02 and 0 0.03 is a good reading to sleep on or sleep in. All right, that's it for my video. I hope that helped you just wake you up a little bit about this Bluetooth and wireless stuff in your house. I'm not saying to get rid of everything. I'm just trying to let people know that this might be harming you. I don't know how much it's harming you. And if you try to look things up on YouTube there's gonna be a lot of people say that this does not harm you but I've seen things where girls are keeping like cell phones down in their bra and it's giving them cancer on that same side in the exact same spot I'm gonna link a couple things down in the description that you can watch and a couple things you can still read up on like the little meter that I was using to read all this stuff you can read up on that or if you want to buy yourself one I'll put a link down there I just bought that off of Amazon. And I'm also gonna have a link down there to a video on a baby monitor. I really strongly suggest that people have babies 
for really young kids that use baby monitors, that you should watch that video. Uh, there are ways you can hardwire that also. The video I'm going to show you at the end, I'll show you a way you can, or another video you can click on to learn how to hardwire that. And I also have two other videos on how to hardwire this house. And I'm going to make another video just to show you different ways you can lower all this electromagnetic radiation in your house. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching my video and God bless.